WFNN. Headline News Update. Good morning, folks. This is Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of sunny Delray Beach, Florida. This year, 9 a.m. update, and currently have U.S. equity futures trading to the downside. You've got the Dow futures off 267 points, about eight tenths percent, a little over one percent for the Nasdaq. That's 130 points. 37 for the ES Mini, down nine tenths percent, and nine tenths for the Russell, which is about 17 points. Over in Asia last night, a bit of a mixed bag. You had the Shanghai and the Hang Seng finish up over one percent, while the Nikkei was down one percent. Over in Asia, uh, in Europe this morning, the DAX and the FTSE are trading higher. The FTSE is the strong dog out there, up 41 points. Gold's up four bucks. Silver's back twenty cents. Platinum's off twenty-two bucks out there. A U.S. dollar index trading out at one hundred two twenty-five. Of course, I do have a ten-minute delay out there. That is up twenty-six ticks. So let's spend a few minutes. Go take a look at our nine-panel market update chart. Uh, let's go take a look at my white background version out here. Since we did, I believe we might have done the black background version during the first show, but can't recall if we did. Doesn't matter. You got the ES mini in the upper left-hand side. What you can see here is prices trading with inside its profile levels. Calculated by Ninja Trader. Those are different than the ones that I show you on the black background screen. Sometimes there's different profiles. What do you do there, Stevie? You use them all. In this case here, right now, price has resistance at 4067. Support inside the ES Mini is about 3921. That's the current print on its oscillator and change line. If we take a look at the NQ, right now, price is trading. There's no topping signal or anything. Uh, any pullback, any serious pullback, should find support at its oscillator and change line, which is also right at about where the center of its daily profile, 11150, is at. That was a bearish structured profile. Any counter trend move, I should find support right at that level. And if it does, that actually would be your next buy area out there. In the case of the Dow Equity Future contract, it has a Rosemont indicator top and just trading sideways out here. So uh, no big deal there yet. High-grade copper, strong like bull. I remember looking at the day, the weekly chart this morning, and uh, very, very strong, maybe even the monthly. You can see here where high-grade copper is likely going to go target is the $4.45 area out here. So price above a TD9 count top, may even be above a weekly TD9 count top. You might want to go over and take that, take a look at that. So if you're into like southern copper chart, uh, stocks like that, things are looking pretty good. You might get a pullback out here, but longer term, things are looking pretty good. Gold formed a TD9 count top yesterday it would negate that signal today with a close above 1906.50 otherwise expect a retracement at least back to the 1881 level folks stay tuned tommy o'brien is up next with the morning market kickoff have a fantastic friday and a uh, fantastic friday the 13th that is